the FDA approval of the Gamma Core non-invasive vagal nerve stimulator is going to have a significant impact on patients with cluster headache. It's an acute treatment, so it's a way of treating the attacks that come. Now, cluster headache is, is characterised by attacks that can last for a couple of hours, perhaps one to two hours, of one-sided, extremely severe pain associated with features like eye-watering and, uh, and redness. And the treatments we have at the moment are, broadly speaking, triptans, so sumatriptan by injection, sumatriptan by nasal spray, zolmitriptan by injection. They all have randomised controlled trials, although not all of them are FDA approved. And oxygen, 12 to 15 litres, 100% uh, oxygen. And all of those have been proven by randomised placebo controlled trials. Now, a problem with the triptans is if you're a person who has two cluster headache attacks a day, for example, you can use two injections and everything's fine. If you have four cluster headache attacks a day, then you can use two injections, and for the other two, everything is not fine. You get two hours of torture. Now, for some patients, oxygen will sort that out, for many indeed, although there are some logistic uh, limitations and some some access limitations on oxygen. So what the approval of the gamma core means is another option to treat what is the worst pain that humans know. Which there's no exaggeration. I've had looked after patients who've had just about everything happen to them. Um, for women that, have, that will tell you the childbirth is better, is less painful than an acute cluster headache people that will tell you that fractures and stabbings and electrocutions. And I've looked after a lot of patients and are not doing those things. It's very, very severe. Now the gamma core device can be used on any number of attacks. So all of a sudden, we start to have another option to be able to treat particularly patients who have, who have very frequent, uh, frequent attacks. 